Hello everybody, I'm Bevan. And I'm Bennett. And welcome, and we'd love to have you here, and this is episode four uh, on... Kids Discovery Podcast. And the subject of this episode today is... Tables and chairs. Now, Benny, you didn't think that this was going to be a good episode, but I think that there's going to be some mind-blowing facts that you didn't know about tables and chairs. Did you know the biggest chair in the world was 90 feet tall? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Who would even sit on a chair that's almost 100 feet tall? But how could you even get on that chair if you were tiny? Yeah. Is there a ladder up to the chair? I hope, uh, yeah, yeah, there is. Yeah, yeah, there is. You would have to put a ladder. Did you know that the biggest chair in the world was bigger than the tree? <laughs> That's interesting. The smallest chair in the world could fit on a pin tip. And it is so tiny that, what do you think could sit on that thing? Maybe a Mouse? fly? A mouse? I think a mouse would even be way too big for it. I think humans would be way... Do you know why they made this chair? It was for a fundraiser for the Boys and Girls Club. Uh, what? So do you know who invented the chair? No. It was the ancient Egyptians around 2700 BC. That's... Over 4,000 years ago. And only one teacher could sit on them. Isn't that interesting? (laughs) And you would think the first chairs that came out would be simple chairs, very plain, but no. They had gold on them. The legs of all the chairs had little... They were made like paws, like cats and dogs. They all had paws. All right, Benny, now it's time for quiz time. Are you ready? Yes, here we go. Okay, do you know how much the world's most expensive chair sold for? 200,000 billion bucks. You think 200,000 billion? Yes. 200,000 billion is like two quadrillion dollars or something? Yeah. No, it's not that much. It sold for 27.8 million dollars. Wait, what? Yeah, it's called the Dragon Chair, and it was made by Yves Saint Laurent, and it was sold at auction for 27.8 million dollars. And I think that that is outrageous for a chair. Benny, do you think that the world's most expensive chair would be comfortable? Uh, yeah. No. You don't think so? No. I bet you it is mostly for looks, and it probably isn't even comfortable. But it better be comfortable if it's $20 million. Why? Because you're spending $20 million on a chair. So chairs went from simple, wooden pieces of furniture to now they got robot ones that can massage you and ones made out of plastic and metal and folding chairs and all sorts of things. Haha, <laughs> that's funny words. Like what? <laughs> so it's like plastic, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Daddy, here's a quiz time for you. Quiz time. I'm ready. Which one do you think came first, table or chair? I think maybe the table. The chair came first. That makes sense, because you probably want to sit down before you'd need a table. Yeah. But do you know who made the first tables? No! I bet you you can guess. It'd be, it's the same people that made the first chairs. Ancient Egyptians. They created a lot of things. But they weren't before dinosaurs. No. All of this was way after dinosaurs. Maybe dinosaurs had dinosaur chairs and tables. No. No. 
Like, what do you think the first tables were used for? Playing games and stuff. You're right. Usually, back in the ancient Egyptians' time, food was served on trays and people ate with their hands. And tables were used for just keeping things off the ground and playing games on. It was only later on when they started using it for eating. And we live way after. Way, yes. way after. The Greeks and Romans were the ones that really started using tables, especially for eating. So what do you think the first tables were made out of? I don't Wood, stone, brick. Wood? They were actually made out of stone. Mostly just putting stones on top of each other. How big do you think the largest table is? 2,000 feet. Fact check. Of course, fact check. The longest table is three th over 3,000 meters long. Uh, Whoa. Well, that's all for us. Bye, guys. See you for episode five where I will pick the topic or one of our listeners. If you want to pick the next topic, make sure you send an email to kidsdiscoverypodcast at gmail.com. We love to read it. We love to read your guys' emails. And you could drop a comment in the comment section. That also is very fun for us. Bye-bye.